welcome back capricorns for another video um if you are new to my channel go ahead and click that bell to subscribe you don't want to miss out on future videos these are general reads guys so they will not resonate with every single capricorn okay just take what applies and what does not apply just leave it don't try to make it fit and um This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorns. If you would like to donate to the channel, guys, that information is in the drop box, as well as check out my merchandise below the video, guys. Um, if you purchase a t-shirt, you can enter to win a free reading. I will be announcing the winners on August the 30th. Well, it's going to be um, one winner. Okay, I'm going to choose one winner for a free read. And I'm going to be announcing the winner on August the 30th. So go ahead and click the link below, guys, below the video um, to check out the merchandise and purchase an item. Um, if you would like to join the money train ritual we have going on for the entire month of August, guys. August is manifestation money, guys. We're going to be manifesting. We're going to be trying to get to this bag, trying to get to this money. All right. If you want to enter, um, if you want like to enter. Contact me via email and we'll get you set up on how to join the money train, all right? So, let's talk about the month of August, okay? For my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorns. All right, Capricorns. What messages are there for Capricorns for the month of august we got the death card we got the lovers oh capricorn is y'all <laughs> all right i'm not even let me get all the cards first we got the page of pentacles And the Ten of Swords, what? The Emperor. And the Seven of Cups. Okay. Y'all got some a decision to make. I'll tell you that right now. And it's in regards to love. Um, with the Lover's card here and the Seven of Cups. We got the Queen of Wands. Seven of Swords. Yikes. I got the Seven of Pentacles. And your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. So, the bottom of the deck, you guys, this energy is the Ace of Wands. Very much so passionate energy. So you're very passionate about this. Um, this is a new beginning. This is sexual energy as well. I'm feeling like um, we got the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card here right after that. Like, I feel like you want to get justice on the situation. Um, yeah, like you want to tell the truth with the Ace. With the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. And then, like, you want to get this over with with the Six of Swords. Like, you want to tell the truth and just get it over with. Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Like, you just want to get it. You want to just get it out the way. Um, With the Death card, Scorpio's energy here. But with the Death card and the Ten of Swords here, something is definitely over i feel like you're cutting ties with somebody you guys are really picking up like on this aquarius energy that could be doing some cut some cord cutting i'm definitely seeing that there's definitely like an ending here okay it could be an ending to like a lover's triangle here with the lover's card you could be dealing with a gemini i got aries here i got queen of wands libra gemini i'm sorry Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and I got Knight of Pentacles, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. But I'm just getting like you're, you're, you're cutting off. You cut somebody off, 
and communication, like you're done talking to somebody. The emperor, you're taking more control. You're feeling more in control. Um, you feel like you're ready to make a decision here. You're making up your mind or you, you have, you're looking at all of your options here with the seven of cups. This person that you're dealing with, I feel like they feel like you are being sneaky with the Seven of Swords or you aren't being truthful. They don't trust you. Um, but you've been taking your sweet little time um, and you're going to continue to take your time. I feel like you're not rushing making a decision, but I feel like you're looking at all of your options. Let's see. I, let's just go ahead and get into it. Why is the death card here? The Wheel of Fortune. Like, maybe you feel like... Yeah, like, you telling somebody that you're leaving with the Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Like, you told somebody that you're, that you're gone, that you're leaving. Something didn't go in your favor. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? And it's like, you don't want to give this another chance. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah. Like, you don't want to give this another chance. The Two of Pentacles. And then the Four of Cups here. Like, yeah. You're not accepting the offer. Um, you don't want to take the risk. I'm done feeling like you feel like it's real risky. Okay. Feeling like it's really risky. Your intuition is telling you that this is just going to be a mess. The Five of Swords. Somebody has insecurities here. Five of Swords and the Moon. Like this is like jealousy and it's envious type of energy. Like you don't, I feel like you, you don't want nothing to do with it. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. I feel like you might have told somebody that you were gonna come back and you didn't. And I'm getting like you like I'm getting like you're telling you told you you spoke your truth with the ace of swords and the eight of wands. Like you spoke your truth here. It's like I'm getting like I hope you understand. Why is the star card here? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Like you hope they get the picture. Like you hope. You're hoping that they get the picture here. Yeah, like two of wands. You hoping that this person gets the picture that you might have seen this person as like, you know, like a fling, like something fun with the knight of wands. Um, let's see why the lovers is here. Five of wands. Somebody's fighting for your love. Somebody's fighting for your love. Like five of wands and the lovers. Like somebody's competing to be in a relationship. We got the page of swords, the ten of cups. Like I'm getting like a spy. Could be dealing with the Leo with the sun card here too. Why is the five of wands? I'm getting like flavor of love type vibes. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to name this reading. Flavor of love. What's your flavor? <laughs> Why is the five of wands here? And the queen of pentacles. Yeah. And then we got the three of swords and the knight of cups. Like I'm getting like, did you have to apologize to this person? This person is asking for an apology. The Knight of Cups and Three of Swords. Like somebody wants mad attention. Like somebody wants to be recognized, wants attention, and wants you to apologize to them. Like, why is the Ten of Swords here? I'm getting made the best person win. Like, I swear. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, you stop communicating. Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Like, you cut off communication. And you, you're like, I hope you get it. 
I'm not talking to you. Like, I'm done. I don't want to talk right now. I hope you get it. I hope you understand. I feel like you feel like you got other things that you could be focused on. I got the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Like, you feel like you got other things that you could be focused on. Work, your money, your finances. Like, you know how Capricorns do. You know how y'all is about y'all money. So, y'all feeling real in control in the past. Yeah, like, you feel like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and take control of this situation. Yeah. The judgment and the three of wands. You was waiting for the right moment. Yeah, see, see, all of a sudden, something happened. The two of cups, the tower, and the eight of cups. Like, this relationship or this bond or connection was ripped apart and somebody walked away and left. The Seven of Cups for future energy. Yeah. We got the world. I feel like for some of you, there is... We got the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're getting ready to close the chapter one. Like, I feel like you guys had like a lot of different options that you were trying out different flavors. Like, I swear I'm getting flavor of love. Like, that's, that's what popped in my head. Like, flavor of love. Like, I feel like y'all had like all these dope options and you were trying to trying to like try them out see where this could go but i feel like that phase is coming to a close with the world card here for some of you y'all are ready to settle down we got the ten of pentacles and the hierophants which is marriage a higher level of commitment um like i feel like some of y'all are just ready to settle down like you had fun like you were having fun Cause you guys' energy is the queen of wands. Like, yeah, see, king of cups. Yeah, like, you're closing a chapter. Um, yeah, like, you all of a sudden. I'm getting like you all of a sudden. You walked away from something all of a sudden. Like, it was abrupt. Or you're getting ready to. The tower and the eight of cups. Like, you're just about to leave. Oh, okay, we got, so you wanting to work on stability. We got the three of pentacles and the four of wands. For some of you, you want to uh, work on um, a living arrangement. This is the marriage card, the three of pentacles. Maybe some of y'all want to work on a business. Some of y'all want to work on a marriage. But I'm getting like king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Like you're, you're closing the chapter on um, not knowing exactly what it is that you want. And the King of Cups energy is more, you know, love energy. Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, you're, you're willing to take a risk now with the Fool. You're being more, uh, taking more risks. Okay. <laughs> but you're, you're still cautious. You're still cautious. We got the Queen of Cups. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Six of Cups. So you're looking back at the past. Maybe looking at some risk, a risk that you took. Okay, but I still feel like you're still kind of cautious, though. Like, you want to take a risk, but you're still kind of like, I don't know yet. <laughs> Especially with the nine of wands here. It's like, I want to take this leap of faith. I want to take this leap of faith, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, queen of wands is you guys' energy. Five of Pentacles, yeah. See, you're leaving something. I'm getting Leo. I'm getting Leo's energy. Um, the truth is coming out. Like, something is coming to the light. With the sun and the ace of swords, the truth is being revealed. Um... I feel like you guys were being a little reckless. Maybe, you know, having a little bit too much fun. The King of Pentacles, you guys' energy. Like, you know, like, I feel like... I'm really picking up on Leo's energy with the Queen of Wands and the Sun here. And 
we got the devil and the ace of pentacles you guys is energy and the ace of pentacles i'm getting like somebody what? three of swords and the ten of cups like yeah there's been a breakup It's been a breakup. And I feel like you guys were just having fun. Like, with the Queen of Wands, y'all just was, you know, living life. Y'all was just living life. But then I got the Five of Pentacles. I'm getting, like, wanting to quit. Quit something. And then with the Sun here, and with the Five of Pentacles, this is, like, looking forward to better days. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is like an opportunity. This is a new, like you want some, a new opportunity. I feel like there's three of swords here. There's some heartbreaking pain. Yeah, like nine of cups, you want to, I feel like y'all want to break up with someone or um, you want somebody to feel how you felt. Seven of swords is how they view you. They feel like you think you slick. <laughs> King of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Like, yeah, you think you so slick. <laughs> you think you so slick. Why is the King of Swords here? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, like, I feel like you, um, we got the, the, the Seven of Swords is a lie. The Ace of Swords is the truth. And then the King of Swords here. He's definitely speaking his truth, okay? Then we got the Queen of Swords here. They're trying to hide their expression. And I got the Strength card here. And King of Wands could be dealing with Leo. They're trying to hide their expression. But what's the Ace of Swords here? No, they're waiting on you to tell them the truth. Or, because they, they want to know. Yeah, they want to know. They want to know. Possibly if there's another person here with the Empress, the Empress keeps wanting to jump out. But they wait, they're waiting for you. They're like, they really like they feel like you think that you're slick. They're waiting for you to they've been waiting for you to come out and like tell the truth. Um because they they feel like things are have been a secret, okay? Things have been hidden, and they want to know the truth. They want to know how you really feel. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah. For some of you, there's a marriage here. Four of Wands and the Hierophant and the Eight of Cups. You walked away from a marriage. Um, but we got the Four of Pentacles here. Got the Four of Pentacles here and the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Like you're keeping someone waiting, page of swords, someone spying. Ooh, big time spy. Somebody's definitely spying. And I'm getting someone telling their friends how they feel. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Eight of Cups. That's you guys. Y'all leaving somebody. It's been a long time coming. Y'all, y'all leaving somebody. Um, y'all need some space. <laughs> we got the hermit. Virgo's energy, but y'all need some space. Y'all feel like you need some space. You need some alone time. You need to do some soul searching. But I feel like you um you might not even tell this person. You might just cut this person off. The two of swords and page of cups, like you just might just like don't answer their calls anymore. You might just don't answer their calls anymore. Cause I'm gonna have the five of pentacles is abandoning and leaving someone out in the cold too. And that queen of wands there in the sun card could be um a fire sign. But I'm getting like like, you want to break up. You want to split from somebody. You want to split. You want to split. Like, you're closing the door on... Um, you're, you're closing the door on this confusion. Like, 
you want to close this chapter. You want to close the chapter? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Page of Wands and the Four of Wands. Okay. Maybe for some of you, I'm getting like someone's telling their family that they're leaving. I'm getting that someone's telling someone that they um, that they already have like a living arrangement. Or someone is possibly married here with this Four of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Temperance. Page of Swords. High Priestess. Yes. Somebody's spying on somebody. Why is Temperance here? Oh, well. Yeah. You're closing the chapter. King of Pentacles. Like you're done. And you want a new start. You want new love. You want a new beginning. Okay. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Fool. All of that is new, new energy. So you're closing this chapter because you want something new. But at the same time, like you still got your guard up. You're uh very cautious. I don't see nine of cups and the seven of cups. You want to make this, you feel like you want to make you're ready to make this decision. Your intuition is telling you to. Um, you guys are going on a new journey. Like, you you shut somebody off. You cut somebody off. I don't even think you're going to tell them that you're cutting them off. Like you're just going to just do it and just... <laughs> you're just going to mosey on with, with your life. Like, you don't feel like you owe somebody an explanation. I feel like you could possibly even consider, like, leaving this person, like, five of pentacles. It's like leaving this person out in the cold. And just hoping that they get the picture. <laughs> oh, wow, Capricorns. All right, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with you guys later.